One of the most telling moments in the U.S. space program was when the first images of the Earth were taken from space. In leaving home to explore space, one could not guess that the most fascinating activity would be looking back home and noting how small Earth looked and how blue it looked, almost completely covered with life-sustaining waters of its oceans. As it would turn out, water would also be the lifeblood of space exploration. Early astronomers saw interconnected lines on Mars through inadequate telescopes and envisioned vast networks of sophisticated canals and aqueducts supporting thriving colonies of alien life. These were merely the mirages seen by hopeful imaginations. As man heads out into deeper space, the search for water becomes all important to establishing longer-term bases and exploring further and further into the reaches of the solar system and beyond. In addition to human consumption, water can provide energy, breathable air through electrolysis, and in general, the possibility of life wherever it may exist. Water ice found on the Moon and on Mars in 1998 and 2002 will thus fuel the next giant leap. In 2010, when the space shuttle is retired from service, the new designs and technologies will fulfill the Apollo-era vision of human space travel. The crew exploration vehicle then, riding upon the celestial fires of the Prometheus Project, will become our chariot to the new worlds as we chase water across the heavens.